Okay, back to conflict of interest. Rogue turnabout. Now there's the next one. Wait. Yeah, I can just go to all of them anyway. But, turnabout on the web. Oh no. down with the lemons. Thought you could hide, but I have you now. You've met your match, toilet. Ugh, is that mildew? I don't clean this thing nearly enough. I'm gonna make you sparkle. Goosey? Maya? Something wrong? What do you think? This day of all night making it! Well, it's certainly eye-catching. Do you like it? Why is the pink princess strangling that man? That's not the pink princess, that's me! She isn't strangling anyone. Sorry, my mistake. It's no good, is it? I'm going to have to stay up all night again and redo it again. It's okay. I can help you do it again. Hey, hey, now, you too. You know, if I look really closely, I can, I think I can actually see Maya. And you're not strangling him, you're... Punching him in the throat? No! Come on! Come on, Trucy, we need to try this again. I'm going to make it perfect this time. Do we really need flyers? They seem kind of redundant after the new broth news broadcasts and public service announcements. Of course we need them! I want the whole world to know about this. Maya, you're working too hard. Try taking things down a notch. I can't! The reunion is only a month away! Try to get her to slow down a bit. I have a feeling the stress is starting to get to her. Right. I think I can try. Maya's been working really hard to combat the inner feuding among her family. So far, she's managed to keep the Brand families under control, for the most part. A while ago, she started planning a family reunion for all the members of the Fae clan. It's something that hasn't happened in, well, a really long time. To her, it isn't just a gathering. It symbolizes the reunification of her family. She's taken every effort to make sure the whole world knows that this is a big thing. Her parents' work has been her entire life lately. Hello? This is the right anything agency? Hi, is this Phoenix Wright? Yes. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney? The... the Ace Attorney part isn't really necessary, but yes, it is. Who am I speaking to? Oh, wow! It's really him! I'm speaking to Phoenix Wright! Well, yes. That's where we got the name right. I wonder if he'll give me his autograph. And he's talking to somebody else now. Yeah, whatever. 
guy is not as amazing once you get to know him. No way! This is the legendary Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Eh, objects to bad guys and doesn't afraid of anything. Yeah, I have no idea what you just meant by that. That other voice, I know I've heard it before. Is that Detective Waters? This is so awesome, I can hardly believe this is happening, lol. Um, hello? Excuse me? Is he still on the phone? Well, yeah, give me that. Just get over to the detention center. You need to shut him up. What? Why me? You tell me. You're the one he keeps blabbering about. Can you at least tell me what? Just talk to him when you get there. Sheesh, man. Okay? I'm so confused. Who was it? A potential client, apparently. It doesn't sound like Waters is too happy with him. I don't think I got a chance to meet him yet. Isn't he really mad at you for something? Eh, yeah, seems that way. After how we saved him last time, you'd think he'd be a little bit more grateful. He would. Not really an issue I feel like pressing, though. Being falsely accused of murder isn't something most people just shrug off. Sounds like the suspect this time's talking about me quite a bit. Must be getting on his nerves. Well, you should get on down to the detention center and see what's the matter. I might do that. Either of you ladies care to join me? Why don't you go, Maya? I don't think I can this time. I still have a whole bunch of stuff left to do. The Sir Galante case really put me behind. Everything needs to be finished by next month or the reunion will be a failure. Don't worry. Me and Polly can work on it. He doesn't have anything better to do right now. Besides, it'll be good for you. You need a break. We'll cover for you. Well, I guess so. I sort of do. But this better be a short case. After last time? No promises on that. Who would have ever thought that investigating a crime would be considered a break from anything? You sure you're okay here by yourself working on those? I'll be by myself. I'll have Polly to help me. I suppose so. Speaking of Polly, where is he? Oh, I'm sure he's around here somewhere. I'll find him and make him get to work. You'll find him just like that? He probably has a microchip. What? what? No, I'll just call him on my cell phone. Well, I suppose that works too. The room there is afraid that he's just getting to follow in her footsteps. What do you think we should do first? Well, finding the defendant is always a good idea. You can head down, you can head to the crime scene from there and see where the things take you. I hope our client is a bit more normal this time. Oh, I doubt it. Fate will be that kind of thing. Okay, I'm happy for you, but I still find it kind of weird. Weird? Ever since you took me in, I've only ever known you as a card playing pianist. I've always known you used to be a boy, but now you are again. But now you are again, and it's just weird. You're still the same man you've always known. I kind of see where she's coming from. I imagine if I suddenly became a lawyer. Okay, yes, that would be weird. You need to teach me how to use one of those things sometime. You're already a walking lie detector. Why would you need a Magatama? That's great. If I have pursuing skills and a Magatama, I'd be unstoppable. Deal. Solving murder cases on easy mode. I'll take it. Don't worry, Daddy. Maya with you? There's no way you won't solve this crime. You don't think I could do it myself? Well, there was that one time you tried to go in alone. No! That was my fault! What would have happened if I'd been there to stop him? <laughs> Trust me, you two. I think I've learned my lesson. It won't happen again. Thanks for helping me out, Tracy. No problem. You can just help me out with my next performance. Help with a magic show. Oh, well, you know. Seriously, you might want to think twice before you do the spirit channeling. Oh, wait, sorry, I'm already this one. Find 
out why this guy is raving about me. Hi, I'm Phoenix Wright. Oh god. But I guess he already knew that, since he called me here earlier. That thing on his collar, is that? No, it can't be. It's way too big, and it isn't even the right color. Is that a paper attorney's badge you're wearing? Is there something you want to do? OBJECTION! Huh? Wow, it's even better than I imagined! Okay, what? Sorry, I just had to test it out. Sorry, after all. Objection! You called me down here just to scream objection at me. You're doing it wrong. It's not just objection. Objection! Why am I even here? I've been waiting my whole life to choose for this. Some people do respect me for the heinous crime of murder. It's a few gallant warrior of the law and a beautiful young assistant to unravel the mystery and win me a verdict of isn't going to take us seriously. Nick, are you really going to just leave him? He seems like such a big fan of you. Well, he clearly doesn't seem to know how I work. If he's not going to respect my conditions, then he can find somebody else. Well, nice meeting you, Mr. Noob. Bobby! I mean, please wait. My name's Edmund Bro Books. Will you help me? Yes, Mr. Books. If you cooperate and answer my questions, I'll consider taking your case. I knew that would work. Who are you? Hey, how can I this? This is kind of a secret. What is it? I'm actually a closet broke. Brody? Don't tell anybody. I'm really embarrassed about it. Okay, I won't. You're Brody. Let me see. I see with you right now. Something else. Why? Why? Because she wants to. Well, make her stop. While well, you're at it, tell Miles Edwards to join you too. Edwards is a prosecutor. Why do you tag along with me for some random case? That's right. Stop stepping on my hopes and dreams. Hey, it's you. Yeah, it's me. You know, I was always a ex Maya shipper. Then, Edwards never, just never seemed to click with me. Stupid justice guy. Hey, don't talk about him that way. Yeah, Polly's our friend. He's a no talent failure. No talent? He hasn't lost a single case. Mason, the guy fails at life. I never even met him. Why would you say that? He's trying to replace you. I, uh. How am I supposed to respond to that? I think she seems to like you. Maybe a little too much. Is that. Evidence? Seems so. Wow! What is it? I was hoping you could tell me that. You are? Can't think of anything? Yes, no. Alright, so that's everything I have, and figured out his no idea what he's talking about. Hey. Now that I know your name, could you tell me a bit more? 
more about yourself, Mr. Books. I work at the public library downtown. It's not much, but I make enough to get by. I'm in my own apartment close by. I just want to let the police march right in, saying I killed somebody. This is so great! Is that so? I'm just actually excited about this. It's always been my dream for this to happen. It's always been your dream to get arrested. No! To be defended by the great police right. right. It's attorney. I'm your biggest fan. I have fans? Of course! There's an entire fan club. I'll be the greatest hero that ever lived. Thank you, I guess. Fan club for a boy? It's really boring living these people's lives. So, I have my own fan club. Yeah, we have this huge community dedicated to you. Do you know this, Maya? I'm just curious to you here. This is so weird. How am I going this long without realizing I have a fan base? You know, none of them are going to believe me you're actually defending me. You couldn't go tell them all for me, can you? Have to spend all this time proving you innocent. Oh yeah, sorry. I just thought maybe you could go post about on there or something. Post? Is it online? Uh huh. Maybe it's Ace Fan Club. That's the name of the site. We we'll call it AF for short. Out and incredibly original. Well, I'll tell you what. If I find time between investigating crime scenes and interrogating witnesses, I'll see if I can let them know. You know? This is so great! I'm so confused. I didn't know that a murder had taken place. You have to believe me. What do you know? Not much. I just know that somebody killed him inside his home in the middle of the night. Somebody told me the police told the police that I'd done it. Can you believe that? That's awful. I heard where you he was killed. In my apartment. I was in a completely different part of town. He was a home. That means he could have done it. Not really. Nobody can prove that. Suburbs. I can draw you a Wow, that's an awesome map. There's definitely not much of ours, this guy. This house is a big yellow one. You can't miss it. You know, I've never been there before. Do you know him? I think... Well, no, of course not. I never met the guy. I just heard this stuff from the police. Somehow, I doubt that. Yet despite him lying to me, I can't bring myself to think that it was for malicious reasons. This guy seems too naive to actually pose a threat to anybody. And besides, it clearly means a lot to him that I'm here. Mr. Books, I'd like to hear from you one more time. Did you kill Mr. Webb? No! I could never do that! Well, if that's the case, then I think we've learned enough. We should head down to the crime scene and start investigating. So we'll do it for the crime, Ace Attorney? You'll defend me? You seem harmless enough. I doubt you. We're asking some very weird situation right now. What situation? Right. Quick, quick! You and Miss Maya must be getting the quest immediately. There's not a moment to lose. Uh, yeah. Come on, Nick. We need to start a quest. Right away, Miss Maya. going on a quest. This is going to be so cool. I guess how many of these quests have you been on before? Mr. Book said that the victim lived in a yellow house. It should be around here somewhere. Nick, look over there. That house has been burnt to a crisp. And look, yellow paint. You think that used to be Mr. Webb's home? It may have been. What do you think happened to it? We'll have to find that out when we search it. We're not really going in there, are we? It might be dangerous. It looks like the police are already there. There must not be any immediate danger. Might as well check it out. Ah, I wanted to check the tape. Oh, wait. There's arrows. Webb's neighbors must live there. I wonder if they saw anything. Victim's home. I don't really want to go in there. What if the place collapses on us? I 
I'm no expert on fires, but it looks like most of the damage is superficial. I think the actual structure is still fine. I still don't want to go in. Police tape. They must already be here. Nothing? Okay. Just as bad in here as it did outside. This must have been a really bad fire. I wonder how that will affect our investigation. Oh great, this is just freaking wonderful. Great, I was hoping you'd show up. Sarcasm isn't really needed, detective. But Mr. Waters, what are you doing here? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm trying to investigate a murder. So I take it the police department didn't fire you? Meaning, after they found out that you leaked confidential information about the Sir Galante case? No, I didn't mean it like that. Actually, no. Now that I have what you- now I have what you might call job security. In order to keep me from blabbing about them working with the Rivalis family, they're trying to keep me as happy as possible. I even got a nice pay raise. Well, the things worked out pretty well for you, didn't they? Well? Seriously? It's an insult, man. I risk my life to keep that a secret. I'm not gonna go spreading it around now. S sorry Nick, what are you waving your hand like that for? No real reason. <sighs> look, let's just get this over with, okay? You wanna look around? Go ahead. Don't expect me to help you out like last time, though. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Examine first. There's a picture here. Mr. Webb with someone else. Kind of burnt around the edges. You can still make it out. Oh hey, look, it's Mr. Books. Yes it is. But he does know the victim. It's a boom box. Let's try playing it. I guess it's not working. Yeah, the keeper and the fire busted that thing up. It's not gonna be playing. Neighbors would probably be glad about that. Why is that? We had it hooked up to the surround sound in this place. We got a few complaints about loud music right before the fire happened. Complaints about loud music. There's a picture here. It looks like Mr. Webb with somebody important. There. Crime scene. Crime scene? Then what are we doing down here? Hey, there isn't really much to see. We've already moved the body out. Don't you think it would be best if we've been up and looked around? Uh, um, no. Come on, Mr. Waters, please. Nope, can't let you do that. Well, to be honest, I don't have the authority to make that call. I'm not really the one running this case. Dumb shoe. It's the door we just came through. Not much else to say about it. Crime scene on second floor. Right? What the crap is this? Why are you showing me a bunch of chicken scratch? Not all of us can be gifted with amazing artistic abilities, Waters. Apparently. What can you tell me about this thing? Lots of the neighbors mentioned they heard loud music coming from here last night. They had the thing hooked up to the surround sound system, and it was cranked all the way up. It woke all the neighbors up. None of them were very happy. That's what they didn't want to wake up to either. Sorry, man, I don't think I know anything about that. That's related to the case. Must not be, since I don't know about it. Anything special about this case? Besides the fact that we have almost no evidence? No, not really. Will it cleaned up after himself again? Hey, have you taken a look around this place? Anything we might have had at one point is now ashes. All we have is circumstantial evidence. We never even found the bullets that got him. Oh, that's unfortunate for you. Me? Not so much. 
this case might actually be pretty easy. You don't really have that much against my client. I got some fingerprints here, some DNA there, but nothing too strong. DNA and fingerprints aren't strong evidence? But this time it isn't. That's... odd. Somebody dropped this in line the other night and said there'd been a murder. Kinda weird, but we'll take what we can get. Weird? How so? Well, we got a good 30 calls about a fire, but only one about a murder. It's almost like there's no way you even knew that little detail until this morning. <laughs> what was all that about not helping me? What do you know about the victim? Walter Wade Webb. He was kind of a hermit. None of his neighbors have said that they knew him too well. Another recluse, huh? I don't suppose we're also dealing with another criminal mastermind? Well, I... Uh, I'm... I'm not at liberty to discuss that. I mean it. I can't tell you about that. He'd get all upset. Williamson? Well, yeah. Him too, I guess. You know, for somebody who doesn't want to help us, we sure are explaining an awful lot. Well, I... I... Shut up. Did anybody see the crime take place? Actually, yeah. Some woman saw the thing happen. Your descriptive abilities never cease to amaze me, detective. She's an eyewitness, man. Tom put a bullet right through his brain. Where was she when it happened? In her house, right next door. She was there at the time and saw it through the window. Does this woman have a name? Well, yeah. We had to interrogate her and everything. Of course, we found that out. Am I telling me what? Hey, no way am I telling you that. What? Why not? Hey, I told you I wasn't gonna help you this time. You're on your own, man. All the things to hold back, you choose that? Oh well, it's not like I won't find it out on my own easily enough. Alright. What do you think of this? I don't think I'm the person to be asking about that, Nick. In other words, nothing. Nick, you never told me you had a fan club. Honestly, I'm baffled that many people find some people to be all that interested. Not just some lawyer, you're Phoenix Wright. Maya, I think you'll fit in just fine with these people. Doesn't look like Mr. Books is available right now. Right, but you could use his artistic abilities for the flyers. He's obviously much better at art than Maya. I believe you called for me. Oh, hey, you're here. I brought what you asked for. This was a very interesting case. Quite an extraordinary specimen we had this time. Hmm. Drayson? What's this about a specimen? Something I should know? Oh, hello, sir. Don't believe I saw you there. I can't be that hard to miss. Can I? More to Drayson, sir. I'm a coroner for the police department. I was just stopping by to deliver the autopsy report that Detective Waters had requested. Thanks, Grayson. I'll look over it when I have more time. Hey, you need a copyright? If you don't mind, sir, I'd like to stay here a bit and discuss it further with you. There were a few details that I found quite possible. No, that's fine. I'll manage. Oh, no, sure. I insist. Hey, go show that to Drazen if you want to talk about it, okay? 
matters more than I do. He's standing right there. Oh, yes, sir. I love to talk about the victim. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did just present it. Do you think the fire was related to the murder? That would be my guess. The victim is only just up and burst into flames right after the guy died. I thought was probably just probably trying to cover for himself. Would you mind discussing the autopsy with me? Oh, I would love to, sir. It's all explained in that file, but I do love to talk about these things with others. Much of his body was burned from the fire, so things were slightly problematic. However, I do believe that he would be satisfied with what I found. What was the cause of death? The victim was shot in the head. Based on my expert knowledge, I do have to conclude that this is what killed the man. That's probably a logical assumption. If it was a single bullet, straight to the cerebral cortex. I suppose you might say, he lost his mind. That's pretty offensive, don't you think? Too soon! Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. He isn't alive anymore, so I figured it wouldn't matter. He was still living just a few hours ago. I don't think we should be making fun of him. My apologies, sir. I thought you would perhaps appreciate my sense of humor. I don't know that Detective Waters here does. The autopsy. Wait. So that specimen you were talking about was the victim? Wait, really? Oh, yes, sir. The most fascinating one, too. Fascinating. How can you be so insensitive? You know, that's a human being you're talking about. Not anymore, it isn't, sir. What? Of course he is. No, sir. Now he's a cadaver. Or rather, it is. I suppose that it is no longer popular for- No, stop! Just stop! I'm sorry, sir. I thought it offended you. As a police coroner, you probably have a bit more respect for the dead. Ah, my apologies. When you're around death as much as I am, you do become a bit callous. I've been around death plenty of times, but still have a problem with it. Hey, uh, just drop this. I know this guy is going to change. Detective, what is this man doing here? What? Where did this guy come from? Looks like something straight out of the grid. Well, uh, sir, you see. My name's Phoenix Wright. I'm a defense- I didn't ask for your name. I asked what you were doing here. I'm defending the suspect in this case. So stop trying to interrupt this conversation. I believe I asked the detective here. He was just checking out the- Why did you allow me to be a crime scene? Well, sir, this, this is a federal investigation. I cannot have to be filmed by some civilian poking around. The entire case will be jeopardized because of this. Y yes, I know that, but get him out of here, now! Y yes, sir. Come with me, man. Hey, just who do you think you are? Agent Tomodara, Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is my crime scene. The FBI is involved in this? Detective? Yeah, right away. Great, man. First you tried to get me convicted of murder, and now you've gotten me on bad terms with my boss. Way to go. Who is that guy? What was all that about this being a federal case? Apparently, Webb has a high-profile criminal involved with the Ravalis family. I don't know too much, but the FBI man had a whole case of files on him. So he must have been pretty bad. The Ravalis family? I thought we just got done with those guys. Yeah, they're still alive and kicking. I was told that Webb was using his computer skills and whatnot to help cover for them. Do you think this might be another vigilante incident? Look, man, I don't have a clue. I told you all I know. Everything else is on a need-to-know basis, and apparently I don't need to know. And it doesn't look like I'm on that list either. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back in there. Nick, how are you going to defend Mr. Book tomorrow if you can't even get into the crime scene? We'll have to find some way to make do. First, I'd like to talk to this witness and find out what she saw. 